Welcome back, Wolfpack. Vrillis here, and this is how to use Pelipper. Pelipper has some interesting stats, and when we look at it, we have 100 defense out of nowhere. That's pretty cool. So really good defense right there to start working with. And even then, the special attack, while not being the highest, is pretty decent on tanky Pokemon with 85. 70 special defense and 60 hit points aren't the most ideal. And then 50 attack and 65 speed. So pretty much we're going to try to go for some kind of really good defensive tank, or even a mixed tank at this point. So we'll look at its typing as well, and it's a water flying typing. Water flying is actually a really good typing. Only two weaknesses. You're just kind of super effective to rock and really, really super effective to electric, but only two threats to worry about as a defensive Pokemon with a lot of resistances and that immunity to ground. Not bad at all. So let's hop into Pokemon Showdown and we'll see why I like Pelipper so much because Stockpile. Oh, it's my favorite move in the game. We have Defense and Special Defense Boost. You can only use it three times. Sheer Cosmic Power, you get to use it all six times. But on Stockpile Pokemon, generally tankier, bulkier Pokemon. So if we look at Pelipper, you know that 100 Defense is going to get boosted really nice by Stockpile. And I was thinking, since Stockpile boosts Defense and Special Defense, we go with a mixed tank. So with that mixed, I was thinking we could go about 200 points investment into, special or into hit points. With the 200 EVs into hit points, it's going to give us a hit point number divisible by 16. This is going to work with leftovers really well since it heals a 16th of your health, so you're going to be getting an even number back every time instead of losing one point because Pokemon rounds down. So if I had anything else, I would only be getting like a 15th, or I'd be getting a 16th minus one hit points every turn, so it does balance out. Now with Stockpile, I was also thinking, since we have a lot of defense already, might as well just put a bold nature, that way we invest into the defense just a little, max out the special defense, and now we're going to be gaining some good stats every turn. On top of that, we even have access to Scald. Scald has a 30% chance to burn the target, which means they're going to lose even more attack, so the defensive investment isn't as necessary. Pretty much whatever's left, for, left over from the hit points is going to go into the defense, and then we max out that special defense, and we're good to go. Knock off for Annoyance, as well as just like Sticking Power, and then Roost. So pretty much you set up your stockpiles, you go into Roost, and then after that you just Scald to burn your target and knock them off, and then chip damage them with Scald, and you can tear through an opponent's team like this. They bring in a fresh Pokemon, and you're already at plus 2, plus 3 from Stockpile, they're not going to do a lot of damage, you can knock off a high damage item from them, and now you're getting a lot more use out of it. Pelport per- eh. Pelipper scores a KO, burns, and knocks off a Pokemon, or even multiple, it's already done more work than it needed to, which is really strong. Its ability, uh, Keen Eye is probably the best ability in this case, because Keen Eye, if the, opposing, if the opponent has used any evasion boost, it ignores that, so you're going to not worry about evasion with Keen Eye, and Rain Dish is more situational. However, if we do want to use Rain Dish, we can throw Pelipper in as a double support. You have Rain Dish leftovers, you're getting an eighth of your health back every turn, and since you're really bulky, we can kind of play around with the defenses and stats a bit more on this one. We can go for 200 hit points, work a little more in the defense, just kind of go for more of a defensive tank, and then invest into the speed. With the speed inv investment at level 50 and level 100, you're going to outspeed 145 base speed Pokemon after using Tailwind. So the idea is you use your bulk, get a safe Tailwind, and then you just have a lot of support from there. Go for the Scald for the burn, Hurricane because of rain damage, like if you have a rain Pokemon next to you, it's going to have perfect accuracy because Hurricane doesn't miss in rain. So you're going to have a decent amount of damage and the chance to confuse, as well as knockoff support with a ridiculous amount of speed. So the idea is a Drizzle or Rain Dance Pokemon, you set up Tailwind, they set up their rain, you get a lot of health back, and now you're just like knock off the opponent's items, Scald to burn, Hurricane to confuse, and then you also have your Rain Sweeper doing a lot of work as well under that Tailwind boost. So now you're going to be able to remove your opponent's item before they can even make a move, unless they're Mega. But even, even then, it's, you have a lot of options here, and that's really nice. Also, these are just some other moves that Pelipper can use. In doubles, you know, Sky Drop instead of Hurricane, very strong. I wouldn't say Icy Wind instead of Tailwind, but Icy Wind is still something to consider on Pelipper, even on a single set instead of Knockoff, or instead of Knockoff, you can also run Protect. That way, you know, you're at least getting the health back from Leftovers if you need that little extra boost. And then, yeah, there's the Protect right there. So, that's pretty much all there is to Pelipper, that you can go like super awesome stockpile singles, or you can go for really surprisingly strong support in doubles. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and that's how you use Pelipper.